I'm not the person who call anybody weird. We call someone else weird. Someone is reacting and saying, oh, I don't like the way you're acting. I don't like being spoken to me this way. If you want to speak to me, speak to me like a normal person would speak to anybody. Do not speak to me. I don't like the way you speak to me. Honestly, guys, I've never been so stressed listening to a conversation between two adults. Like, I was stressed listening to Sean and Wani. Or should I say Sean and his chihuahuas? Because what the hell? One, two, three, four. Hey Bethas, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. I'm excited to have you guys here. But just in case it's not cutting across as excited, guys. Today has been such... I don't know how to even put this day. I've not been able to breathe. I've not been able... Like, I've been sneezing all day. And I have actually taken some medication. But, like, that kind of just knocked me off, you know. So, I've been... Like, gone. I've been a goner today, <laughs> really. Um, so, I, I just couldn't be here. And to be honest, me doing this is because I feel like it would be very... Somehow, you know, not even showing up at all, you know, so this might just be my one and only video for the day But yeah, that's fine. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new here. Hi, I'm really excited to have you here I'm usually very bubbly, but today is just one of those bad days Um, but yeah, thank you for being here Please make sure to hit on the subscribe button before you leave and also give the video a thumbs up You know right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it. All right, and of course to my returning Bethans Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much. All right now. Let's just get straight into it um you see this whole back and forth between sean and wani or like i said sean and his chihuahuas wani and handy you know it started off in the kitchen right i mean that's when the cameras took us to the kitchen because apparently from everything they had spoken about it started from you know where they were having a private conversation and whatnot so yeah the camera actually started showing us from the kitchen and it was basically sean trying to say oh you want to speak to me in a certain way but me i'm not allowed to speak to you in that way and you know one is saying don't speak to me like that don't speak to me like that and handy is trying to cool them off like you guys take it easy you can talk about it later people are in the kitchen people are not entering the kitchen to take food you guys stop this you can talk about it later and sean is like no it's always me that has to calm down it's always me that has to calm down but whenever Wani does something it's okay for her to you know go on and on and on guys it was it was ridiculous okay because sean kept going like today he's like you know what no i'm not backing down you know that same medicine you always give me you said drink it because this is how you always behave i'll be telling you something you will not listen to me you keep going on and on and on and this guy was not stopping he actually got to the point where they started using some words you know with each other and guys can i tell you what started this whole fight is the fact that you know Wani had told him that he was being weird and Wani saying no i did not say you're being weird i said you're you're making it weird and i'm like what is wrong with weird but then again sean is like when i tell you i don't like you to use certain words you know when speaking to me respect it's just the same way you tell me you don't like being spoken to like this you don't like being spoken to like that i always try to obey those things but then how come you're not seeing reason with what i'm saying i was like well nobody has ever complained that weird is the wrong word or weird is this or weird is that and the guy's like well i'm telling you i don't want you to use that word guys they went on and on and on at this time they were actually making lunch you know handy and when they were making rice and stew you know they were standing there the rice was ready you know it was time to serve housemates started coming one by one and it was becoming very you know embarrassing for one she's like must everybody know that we're fighting must everybody know that we're fighting in this house i've told you calm down you know let's talk about it later and the guy's like no i tried to speak to you outside i called you aside for us to have this conversation and you walked off you walked off on me and now you're saying i should have called you aside like what exactly you know they kept going on and i'm like what the hell what the hell but guys you know the funny part after cooking and all of that it was time to dish they were giving people three three scoops of rice uh, you know that spoon that has like a deep um that that's a bit deep you know they will scoop three three or maybe three and jara give people but you see that sean oh, he was actually vex <laughs> she fire about it she took her time and dished the food like <laughs> put still went all the way to bring spoon Put his spoon, walked all the way back to Sean and gave the food to him. Like she didn't give it to him in his hand, she just dropped it on the table. But my point is, even in the heat of the moment, she was doing all of that. And as to be frank with you, I found it very hilarious because even the Sean guy, he collected the food, went to cover it, kept it somewhere, you know, came back, stood there with them. Because at this point, people were collecting food. He stood there, waited for them to finish. And then he's like, okay, can we go and talk about it now? Because I cannot function with this type of mood and all of that. They went into the garden. They were talking back and forth. I'm like, waiting the apple for you. Like, what is the issue? You know, to the point where everybody had to tell them, okay, move to the arena. Because they are currently having their Indomie task. 
you know where they've been put into like different groups and all of that maybe we'll talk about that later but right even after they collected their merch for the indomie task they went back to the garden and you know one started crying i'm like must it always end in tears like <laughs> sean was like so why are you crying now why are you crying? I said, like, nobody has ever spoken to me this way. No man has ever. No man has ever. I say, I beg you, bushes, don't stress me. Don't stress me. Better is not feeling well. Okay, can you people just resolve it? Literally, guys, I'm not even kidding you. They are still having the conversation. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Anyways, guys, I know that, you know, there's been a lot of conversation from the previous night. You know, the whole back and forth between, you know, Chizoba, Ozzy, and of course, Ben. You know, where Chizoba felt like she was bringing an idea. And, you know, the way Ozzy countered her, she didn't really like it. For her, the tone in which he said what he said was wrong. You know, for her, she was like, why would I bring an idea? and you're telling me that i'm always trying to bring ideas but i don't bring solution blah 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 and the thing was becoming a bit heated so she decided to go to the garden and of course ben is like okay where is chizoba anita told him what had happened and so he went to the garden to try to console his babel only to get there and started transferring aggression on him and the guy's like why can't i calm you down like why can't i do that and she's like no i told you you know that when i'm upset you know just let me be and all of that and ben is like no what you told me was that when i ben upsets you i should let you calm down you didn't say to me that when you're upset with the world when you're upset with everybody else that ben also needs to suffer for that and let you be like it was just a lot of back and forth back and forth i'm like ah, ah. guys i don't even know how to feel because to be honest the way I'm feeling currently is overriding whatever else I was supposed to feel about the whole back and forth. And even the fact that, you know, for their wager, they kept going back and forth, you know, bringing ideas upon ideas, but not coming to a conclusion. And the thing was really, really frustrating Oyeka, like guys we can't keep bringing ideas and ideas but then we're not trying to even piece it together and all of that guys it got to the part where she was like you know what it's fine people can go you know i'm going to write the story myself once i'm done i will bring it to you guys because you know they had to do some things about superheroes and all of that and chizoba had said look for the superheroes we need you know a unique costume for them and ozzy had said no it will be so stressful on cassia and this and that you know blah 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 and she's like no it's teamwork we can all join hands together to make this work guys the back and forth continued until big that brought in something to show them that this is what he wants and it turned out that what she's about had said was actually what big brother wanted you guys it was just a lot last night a lot i mean oyeka was right there you know doing the work by herself up until like past 3 a.m or thereabouts but then again ozzy and you know ozzy were with her you know before she went to bed and all and i'm like what is all this what is all this but you know something else that has lingered up until today because i listened in on nelly's um diary session you know where she was being a big baby crying and all of that since she was missing family and you know just wanted to speak to her mom you know something else that I talked about was you know big brother asking her how she was going to deal with the situation with sean and if you did not know what had happened between sean and herself and suj it was based off of the question ebuka had asked on sunday about the conversation sean was having with wani where they were talking about her butts and you know it not being properly done and all of that and for her it's like sean you're my friend like why would you even be speaking about me in that way but i mean she wanted to let it slide right but then they were having a conversation sean had walked up to her to have a conversation and in the process of having the conversation she thought that he was about to apologize to say oh you know i'm sorry you know i didn't mean it in that way you know maybe like clarify things and all of that but instead of sean doing that sean started saying that look this same conversation about your butt it was something that we had spoken countless times with suj suj is aware suj has indulged in the conversation and all of that and you know he was making it seem like he wanted nelly to fight with suj because even when they had their hoh games i told you guys that suj was disqualified because nelly was trying to help him apparently she was not just trying to cheer him on and all of that she was telling him what to do you know because biggie revealed that in the diary room i mean he made nelly confess to that because you're like biggie no i was talking to myself and all of that biggie said hmm nelly are you ready to tell the truth? And then she now said, yes, I was telling him, bust it, bust it. But she didn't know that it would be loud enough for him to hear, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, back to the whole, you know, him being disqualified and all. Suj had had a conversation with Sean. I mean, it was actually Sean that walked up to him to say, look, are you not upset with Nelly? She was one that made you get disqualified and all of that. Like, if I was the one, I would be so pissed. Like, he was basically trying to hit their heads together. And so late at night, whilst, you know, Suj and Nelly were in the room on the bed, you know, she was telling him that, guy, you need to be very careful. You need to watch your back 
much. And even told him that watch your back thing in the kitchen earlier. And then, of course, they decided they were going to have a conversation much later. So she started telling him the things Sean had said. And, of course, you know, she made it known to us today during her diary session that this thing about her butt and all of that, Suj actually had that conversation. But it was in the first week or thereabout. And he had told her about it himself. You know, so imagine if he had not said it to her. You know, imagine everything that would have happened and all of that. People that was like, hmm, okay, so you, you're saying you're not going to do anything. She's like, no, for now, she doesn't intend to do anything. She's probably just going to chill and just be watching and all of that i'm like hmm. sean is giving me lord bellish vibes <laughs> sean is really giving me lord bellish vibes and i know how this comes across but then again it's a game and he's playing a game even though yes you know it might be very disturbing for a lot of people it's actually disturbing for me as well you know i've seen people say oh but becca you know did you watch this conversation me i think sean is just playing a game i think he's playing a game and i mean i cannot really throw their opinions away which is why i'm mentioning it here you know because i've gotten quite a number of people say to me via dm that you know did i ask him if i listened to the conversation and you know how they feel like sean is just playing the game so that we should not hate the player we should hate the game i'm like okay guys let me know what you think about this do you think you know it's okay to be that way in the house as per i'm playing the game i'm playing the game or you know do you think that that was outright disrespect you know in terms of you know i don't know guys just let me know what you think because to be honest i am stressed okay I, i'm not okay <laughs> i'm not okay at all but guys let me know what you think in the comment section i do love you guys so much again um for chisoba and ben you know they always sort their issues out they are good i mean as at the point when i'm filming this they're literally hugging each other you know they're they're hugging <laughs> ready for their task so yeah there's peace there um again like i said please pardon me if i don't come back here today or even tomorrow i don't know i really don't know but guys fingers crossed i feel better tomorrow okay i love you guys so much and yes i've been breathing through my mouth the entire time so please forgive how i sound all right i love you guys so much and of course i'll see you on the next one okay Bye.